Let's call the uh, City of Milton Common Council meeting to order on Tuesday, November 20th at 6.06 .06 p.m. And can I get confirmation of appropriate meeting notice? The agenda was posted at Dave's Ace Hardware, Piggly Wiggly, and Milton City Hall. Thank you. And can I get a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. There's a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? We have an agenda. All right, so tonight is kind of an exciting special night for us because we have special guests here to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And if it's all right with you, would you come up to the podium so we can hear you? And would you mind introducing yourselves and telling us what troop you are with? What? <laughs> Um, I'm Nathan Bergheimer and we're with Troop 454. My name's Jordan Hayes with Troop 454. I'm Owen King from Troop 454. Isaac Smith, uh, 454. Drew Christensen from 454. Awesome. Thank you so much. So whenever you're ready to start, go right ahead and we'll follow your lead. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> and this meeting probably won't be terribly long, so the council will have time afterwards to answer any questions you may have in order to get all the requirements done for earning your badge tonight. Are there any public comments? Okay. All right. Another exciting moment tonight is... The mayoral proclamation declaring Indigenous Peoples Day, which as many of you know, the county has already made this proclamation. So I will read this and um, I'll have a questions for, for the Boy Scouts after the meeting if they know what um, indigenous, indigenous nation we are actually located in in the city of Milton. I think you could probably look it up on Facebook really quick. <laughs> okay, proclamation to recognize the second Monday in October as Indigenous Peoples Day. Whereas Indigenous Peoples Day began in commemoration of 500 years of survival and renewal of indig Indigenous nations in the face of genocide, colonization, political, religious, and cultural repression, and whereas the Milton Common Council recognizes that the indigenous people of this hemisphere that would later be known as the Americas have lived on these lands since time immemorial, immor immemorial. And the Milton Common Council recognizes the fact that Milton is built upon the homelands of the indigenous people of this region. And whereas the Milton Common Council values the many contributions made to our community through indigenous people's knowledge, labor, technology, science, philosophy, arts, land conservation techniques, along with deep spiritual cultural practice, helped shape the character of the land known as Wisconsin. And whereas the Milton Common Council will continue to support indigenous nations, social and environmental justice, religious freedom, and tri tribal serenity efforts. And whereas the Milton Common Council honors our country's indigenous roots and correct history and seeks with this celebration to bring greater understanding of diversity by inclusion of indigenous people's culture and voice to the table in Milton, Wisconsin. And whereas the Milton Common Council will recognize the desire of all indigenous people representing 
567 tribal nations to celebrate the second Monday in October as Indigenous Peoples Day with special attention to Wisconsin's 12 federally recognized tribal nations. And now, therefore, be it resolved by the Milton Common Council, duly assembled this 20th day of November 2018, to affirm and proclaim that the second Monday in October will be known as Indigenous Peoples Day. And I will sign this today, November 20th, 2018. Item number six, discussion and possible action on resolution 2018-31, adopting a budget, appropriating funds, authorizing expenditures, and levying a tax, therefore, by the city of Milton for the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2019. So this budget as presented this evening is uh, the same as the one that was presented last week, Tuesday, during the public hearing. There hasn't been any changes made to the budget and represents, uh, as the resolution indicates, the levying amount that the city of Milton will be seeking for tax year 2019, for fiscal year 2019. Uh, on the memorandum uh, is included the uh, projected tax rate for the city of Milton, as well as the county school district uh, vote tax, the only item that is still Slightly in question will be the school uh, credit that everyone will see on their individual property tax bills here in the city of Milton. Um, as previously noted, uh, looking at a decrease in our overall tax rate for the city of Milton of five and three quarters percent, over five and three quarters percent, and that number could increase based on uh, the last outstanding piece of information we have from our overall assessment role. Other than that, resolution 2018-31 uh, sets forth the expenditures. Uh, revenues and the overall tax levy for the city of Milton uh, for year 2019. <clears throat> Is there any questions or comments? The one variance with this budget, <clears throat> after consulting with um, Tricor, the decision that we made a couple weeks ago to potentially go self-insured on the dental, once we got some more numbers, we decided to not do that. So that $20,000 and change ended up in the general contingency for now. In this, in, and that's reflected in this resolution. Is that just the dental portion? Correct. That was going to be the reserve. Yeah. So that would be on, beyond the premium. But that would get right. right now. It's still 20000 that went to general. Right, because we, we originally, when we proposed the idea of the self-insured, we, we were going to seed it with $20,000 of um, seed money, so to speak. And since we aren't going self-insured at this point, we felt it was the council's desire to still levy to the max on everything and hit expenditure restraints. So we just park it in contingency and we can decide what we want to do with it at a later time and place. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2018-31. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any questions or further comment? Teresa Larry. Teresa? Yes. Any questions? Okay, the only com I just want to make a short comment that um, I feel like this budget was worked on really hard by um, all of our staff. Um, the Common Council, we spent a lot of time reviewing it, discussing it, problem solving, um, going back, saving more money, reconfiguring some staffing positions. Um, and I think that this budget is um, a values vision. It is not tunnel vision. And I'm really proud of us for moving forward in that direction. And our budget should, uh, should allow us to govern the way that our people and our community and our city live and that's in community and our budget should strengthen our community um, it should continue our essential services provision and it should enhance the quality of life of our residents and I think that we have accomplishment accomplished that and I just want to thank everybody for all their hard work all those in favor Aye. all those opposed 
we have a 2019 budget. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> the budget usually doesn't move this fast. I just want you to know we've spent a lot of hours <laughs> for a quick two minute approval. <laughs> Lots of meetings. Are there any general items? Because I think we probably have a few with the big upcoming events. I have some general items. Um, I, I just, first of all, I would just like to remind everyone that the Chamber Annual Meeting and Christmas Party is Thursday, December 13th. And if you wish to go, you need to contact the Chamber Office to get your tickets. Um, and then I also, there's so many things going on in the month of December. May I go through the list? Sure. Okay. December 1st, we have breakfast with Santa at the high school, put on by the Optimist Group. December 1st, um, Mary Milton Bonfire that includes Santa, Mrs. Claus, and treats. That's from 4 to 7. Uh, December 2nd, we have the 16th Annual Milton Christmas Walk put on by the Chamber. There's five homes to tour. On the 2nd, there's also Hot Dogs with Santa at the Gathering Place from 4 to 7. The um, Nutcracker Display will be at Main Hall on December 2nd and 3rd from 12 to 4. Um, and then we also have out of our school district and I, I, I just want to encourage everyone to um, to to go out and, and, and check out some of these concerts that we have in the area here. We've got some very talented kids, obviously, as we do right, right here. Um, December 11th is the middle school choir concert. December 12th is the high school choir concert. December 17th is the high school band concert, and December 18th is the middle school band concert. And then we also have um, the uh, Milton House will have a performance of Dickens' Christmas Carol on December 7th, 8th, and 9th. So I just hope that everybody will um, enjoy what we have right here in Milton for the next 30 days <laughs> and and more <laughs> thank you okay is there any other staff reports or comments or anything else just a reminder so the that we adopted the budget this evening we had talked uh, initially about it would be the 20th or the 27th since the budget was adopted on the 20th there will not be a, a need for a council meeting next week it wouldn't even be our regular Tuesday anyways but just wanted to remind folks of that um, and we'll, we'll be back on our regular schedule December 4th. That will be our first meeting in December. Um, and then we'll also have a meeting on December 18th. And there likely will be a plan commission sprinkled in there as well, as there's a handful of items that are going to be kind of wrapping up as the year comes to a close here. But uh, so there's still lots to do in 2018, even though their days are getting shorter, both literally and figuratively. <clears throat> Yeah, we're tentatively scheduling a public works meeting on December 4th as well. Okay, anything else? Yes. Um, the library is holding a, we're calling it a Biblio Bash on December 8th to celebrate Library of the Year. So patrons and community members are welcome to come and celebrate with us. We'll have popcorn and photo booth. We're raffling off the stools that the students made in all the schools. If you haven't seen the stools, they're pretty awesome. So we're raffling those off. So come buy tickets and help support the library. Um, so yeah, so come celebrate with us. We have we made a championship banner like the schools do. So we're going to reveal that too. So we have that hanging up in the library. So. And all the pictures that we took, they're going to be there too. <laughs> we are actually making, like, hanging up a whole bunch of pictures from 2018. So we'll include those. <laughs> okay. Well, whenever Jerry's ready. I'll make the motion to adjourn. Second. There's a motion and a second. Oh, did you want to do team building? No. Okay. All those in favor? All those opposed? All right.